Ladies and gentlemen, guys and girls, my name is Raven. I'm on the live servers with my Demon Hunter, and today I'm going to be showing you a quick talent build, um, how I build my Demon Hunter, um, what talents I pick, and a quick guide on, like, you know, what's good, what's not. Just so for people who don't really know and they want a starting point, you can get a general sense of how to start building up your talents in order to get, like, you know, maximum DPS, do a bit better and stuff. So I'm going to be starting off with the PvE build, and then from there, I'm going to switch over to the PvP one, because um, it varies quite a bit from PvE to PvP, what you will be picking. So I'm going to cut to the first one, and hopefully this will give you guys a good starting block um, for those who are interested. Alright guys, so kicking it off with the PvE build. Um, first talent I go for is Blind Fury. Increases the duration of your eye beam by 50%. Reason I take this, there are lots of trash packs that need to be taken down real quick. It does amazing AoE damage. As you can see, my eye beam now does over 200,000 damage. 45 second cooldown, which is really, really nice. It's a good source of burst damage. Um, and it ha later on, there's a talent called Soul Rending, which I'll be showing you as well, which is imperative. But when you're in Metamorphosis, you get Leech, which means that you um, heal up a lot of damage and it's less stress on the healers. The less they have to heal you the better they can serve conserve mana if something bad happens they'll have you know a lot more time to deal with it and if they have to heal multiple people they don't have to worry about you you just pop your eye beam and you're good you're good for a little bit which is really really nice next i went for demonic appetite um chaos strike has the chance to spawn a lesser soul fragment and consuming um any soul fragment grants sturdy fury so once again um you're going to be spamming chaos strike a lot it's your main damage ability sort of thing just being able to get more f um, soul fragments from that equals more fury equals more chaos strikes pretty self-explanatory with that one next we've got first blood now first blood we make sure blade dance which is this one right here it's good for aoe but this makes it even more useful because you can even spam it on a single target and actually becomes part of your rotation again so what it does is reduces the fury cost of blade dance by 20 and increases damage by 179,000 plus against the first target struck which means you're going to be doing a fuckload of damage to the first guy you hit and you're going to be doing a whole lot of damage to everyone else around like you normally would so in the normal rotation once you build up 100 fury with the reduced cost of it you'll be able to get two chaos strikes off and a blade dance before you have to rebuild your fury off that's without any um refunds of fury and all that jazz so yeah it just puts it back into rotation and does a whole lot of damage which is very very nice the bread and butter of your spec right here soul rending gain 100 percent leech while meta is active this is like i said fucking amazing it gives you the ability that when you pop your eye beam your eye beam is now defensive as well as an offensive because as soon as you pop it you can just heal yourself right back up with another talent later on you get metamorphosis form for a little bit here i take nemesis now some people take momentum some people take nemesis i prefer nemesis because increases damage by 20 percent for one minute if the target dies you get 20 percent additional damage on whatever target so if you kill like a human humanoid you get 20 extra, extra percent damage for a while which is pretty good i use this and i always line it up with my metamorphosis it's plain and simple your metamorphosis you that's your big burst damage on bosses and stuff especially when once they pop hero and that you just pop nemesis pop metamorphosis and your damage just goes through the roof next we have demon reborn invoking metamorphosis also resets the cooldown on eye beam chaos nova and blur so once again it gives you an opportunity with this to just blow all your cooldowns so before normally what i do is before i even pop my meta i'll use my artifact weapon ability i'll pop eye beam if i gotta use blur i'll use blur and then once i pop nemesis go into metamorphosis it all gets reset and that way once my metamorphosis finishes i can go straight back into the exact same thing it just is a really nice source of constant damage and it just helps a lot all right next one i gotta do is demonic and this is part of the bread and butter of the spec um i beam causes you to enter demon form for five seconds after it finishes dealing damage so that combined with soul rending combined with blind fury your i beam is doing a fuckload more damage you're um getting healing from it like i said you can use it as a defensive and of course as soon as you finish your i beam normally i'll build up 80 to 100 fury first then i'll pop my i beam that way i can get two chaos strikes out and they're the improved chaos strikes so they do more damage so that's really how that works yeah so that's basically what i use for my pve build um, i do lots and lots of damage and yeah that's a good starting block for anyone who wants to go into it it's not too micromanagey either so you're not you know dashing all over the place and doing all this sort of stuff um because i've noticed there are a lot of mechanics that you need to save your dashes for to move away and if you're using them to do damage which is what the foul mastery spec and momentum spec is all about then you know you're just going to get yourself thumped by multiple abilities especially mythics so yeah that's the pve build moving on to the pvp build all right guys so we're going to be moving on to the pvp build and it's 
sort of the same from the normal talents except we've changed up two of them still going for blind fury to get that extra damage from the eye beam demonic appetite once again to get that extra chaos strike you can take prepared here as well and fell mastery if you like a more heavier zipping around build but i like to use save them for my escapes because then again they are my only escapes so what i do is i go blind fury i go demonic appetite for the extra fury from the soul shards first blood i go for as well um you can go bloodlet which is very very nice if you want an extra button to press you can can go fell blade but i like first blood or bloodlet whichever one you prefer soul rending is always a must the other two eh, they're okay but soul rending is really the only thing that keeps you fucking alive nowadays now here's where we get to the different part i did take nemesis for the pve build but i go for fell eruption impels the target for over 200,000 damage 275,000 is very nice and stuns them for two seconds if they are immune to um stuns permanently it does 100 percent extra damage that's a freaking lot of damage it's only on 35 second cooldown so it just gives you an extra stun and even if the stun isn't that long it's only two seconds it doesn't really matter because you're hitting for 275,000. and if they're immune to stuns well then you just hit them for half a mil so i use it as a finisher as well as a stun so it's very very good and you can do it every 35 seconds for christ's sake so it's it's kind of bonkers all right next instead of demon reborn we went with unleash fury so this just removes the fury cost of your chaos nova and reduces cooldown by 33 percent yeah more chaos novas more stun it's a five second stun which is very long it does a little bit of damage and the fact that it costs no fury and you can do it more often is it's a godsend we still went with demonic as well can switch this out for chaos blades most people go for um as well but chaos blades works really really well with another build if you're going for like a demon's bite nemesis and chaos blade build it does work very very well but i prefer demonic just for that extra healing from i beam once i use it and considering i beam also remember if you hit someone with foul eruption which stuns them and then you hit them with i beam that's half a million damage right there and then you also got to remember that you're in demonic form afterwards for meta for a little bit you're healing yourself up and then you can pop out some improved chaos strikes and just fuck them up so it's very good now moving on to talents for my honor talents i haven't maxed this out yet because i just i've been working on the pve mainly for this but what we have is i normally go gladiator's medallion you need it uh, unless you're a human and you can you got fucking every man for himself you kind of need this next i normally go with firing so physical melee attacks have a 20 percent chance to be blunted dealing 50 percent reduced damage that really helps a lot because as far as melee are concerned they're all going to be jumping on you all the time and smacking you around so the less damage you can take from that the better now here's where you can sort of pick what you want to go i normally go with solitude because generally as a demon hunter you if you jump into a pack of people unless you have your metamorphosis up you're just gonna implode instantly and it's not gonna be a good time for you so this is really good for picking people out and picking your fights you get a whole bunch of extra damage extra attack speed and you can just solo people which is very nice but if you are going to be the type of person who's going to be jumping into lots of packs of people two or three people at once then glimpse is a no-brainer because you use your vengeful retreat which slows them does a bunch of damage and you basically get blur for three seconds seconds cover of darkness eh it's okay that basically binds you to a single area and as a demon hunter with the mobility you guys have you don't want to be locked down to a single area now here i go for reverse magic so we've got the the anti sort of melee you can say with sparring and with reverse magic it basically dispels all harmful magic effects from you and nearby allies within 10 yards and sends them back to the original caster think about that for a second if you've got a warlock who basically just dots you up for days puts a massive um, unstable affliction on you you just pop that and guess what it's all on him now go eat it dick it's quite nice it's a one one minute cooldown so it's a one minute basically cloak of shadows for the demon hunter which is very very cool so i always go for that i have leo tharis is pretty cool as well but in for more survivability which is what you got the damage so you don't need more you kind of need survivability as a demon hunter so i go for re reverse magic next we have awaken the demon within i always go this when you reach 50 percent health you automatically gain meta for six seconds and it can happen once every one minute in addition the duration of metamorphosis will be refreshed up to a maximum of six seconds while or at below 20 percent health pretty insane so you're gonna be having meta a lot more often meta is your big cooldown your big damage your big healing because remember you have soul rending over here so when you're in meta you kind of don't die unless every we're talking like everyone stuns you chain stuns and just blows you up this last tier depends purely on your play style if you want like a sort of mini poly you can go for detainment which basically means you can gives you an extra stun you can basically lock people away you can't do any damage to them while they're in the detainment but yeah it's an extra like a mini any poly sort of thing i always go for rain from above if you watch any of my videos with the demon hunter you've seen me use this before so it's a one minute cooldown you fly into the air and while you're in the air like ilden going down you cast your foul lance and it does 100k damage plus per shot and you can shoot about eight to ten of them before you hit the ground you can also switch targets it's i use this as both uh defensive as well as an offensive so if 
I get jumped by two or three people. I jump into the air, I use it, and then they usually lose track of me unless they really, I've been hit, training them all game and they fucking hate me. Usually they'll just forget about me and just focus someone in front of them. And meanwhile, while you're up there, you, you get a bird's eye view of who's down there and you can pick who you want to target. So if you see someone low, hit them with three of those and they'll pretty much be dead, which is very, very nice. I always go that because like I said before, demon hunters realistically only have two defensives. One only has a 20% chance to avoid all damage taken for eight seconds with a three minute cooldown down it's not very reliable and blur which is your main one increases your dodge chance by 50 percent whoop de fucking do and reduces all damage you take by 35 percent which is nice but it's not going to save your life so just to have that extra avenue of getting out of damage very very nice mana break it does chaos damage and does an extra one percent of the target's health and chaos damage per two percent of the target's missing mana it's more of a you could treat it like a mage execute. It works really, really good against mages, but against anyone else, there's so many people playing melee these days. It's it's okay. It's okay. Yeah, rain for above is the last one I take. So guys, that is what I take for the PvP talents, both um, normal talents and honor talents. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to move along and show you the artifact tree, what basically I've been going towards to get the most damage out. Because I've been doing lots of mythics lately, gearing up with my guilds, so that way we can start doing Emerald Nightmare when it drops. And I'm going to, I've been doing PvP as well. So yeah, I'm quite flexible with my builds right now. So I'll cut to that and show you what I've done. Alrighty guys, so Twin Blades of Deceiver, this is my talent tree build that I've gone for so far. So you start off with your Fury of the Eldari, which is your main spell, does over 300,000 damage to everyone around you. It's a very, very good spell, looks cool, and does a fuckload of damage. Then we move down to Warglaves of Chaos, increases the um, damage by your critical strike by 15%. Now, you get three big main ones that you want to go for, okay? So Rage of the Eldari, when Fury of the Eldari ends, 60% of the damage it deals erupts in explosion, dividing that Chaos damage among all nearby enemies. It's kind of cool, it's more for an AoE thing, but because in, I'm going to be doing single target damage most of the time. I'm not worrying too much about AOE. But I did need these talents up here. So it reduces the magic damage you take by 4%. I had to get one in that. So far just for an extra uh, 4%. As you can see the artifact power needed gets pretty stupid eventually. Demonic speed activating blur generates two charges of foul rush. Which is a must. Because you need the mobility. There's so many spells that require you to get the fuck out of the way. And this gives you that avenue to do it. Especially in PvP as well. Hey every time you use your defense you're going to have two more charges it saved my life so many times we have unleashed demons reduces the cooldown of meta by 80 seconds that is really really good that's why my meta was so low normally it's about four and a half minutes or so and this brings it down to below four minutes which is glorious all right now down here is balanced blades I didn't really worry about this too much because once again, my Blade Dance is already doing a lot of damage with the talents I took first blood, so I don't need to worry about that. Sharpen Glaives, I needed to take this in order to get to the main talent that I focused on, which is gives me the most DPS. Increases your damage of your Glaive Throw by 15%. It's kind of needed to get there. Next was Feast of Souls. When you consume a Soul Fragment, the remaining cooldown on I Beam and Chaos Nova is reduced by 5 seconds. Once again, this tees up with the talents we've taken before. If you look over here, Soul Fragments. As soon as you get heaps of soul fragments from demonic appetite every time you kill someone you get soul fragments this reduces the cooldown on your eye beam and you can get your eye beam up pretty regularly and this is the Seavers fury you generate 15 fury each time you dodge an attack or spell once again you're going to be popping your blur and this is going to be giving you way more fury and that means more cow strikes more blade dancers and you're going to have a lot more damage pumping out now this is the bread and butter of what i went for first and that's inner demons so your cow strike has a chance to unleash your inner demon causing it to crash into your target and deal 170,000 plus damage to all nearby enemies. This has a chance, but it happens pretty regularly. So you're spamming your Chaos Strike, which is your main damage ability. And you'll see this big fuck off demon will come flying out. It'll hit the ground. It'll do a whole bunch of damage. And it crits, has the chance to crit as well. So there's so many times I've been using it on a trash pack. And it's been hitting like four or five targets for over 300,000 damage per target. And when it procs, it's beautiful. All right, and then now moving up to this one. So, Anguish of the Deceiver. Each time I Beam deals damage to a target, it also applies Anguish. When Anguish expires, it deals 10,000 plus Chaos damage to the victim per application. So, that's going to be the next thing I'm going for once again because we use I Beam a whole lot, but we don't use it as much as Chaos Strike. That is why I went for the Inner Demon's Talent first. And now I'm going to go up to Anguish um, Deceiver. So, we're, we're moving through this one, Critical Chaos. 
increases the critical strike damage by chaos strike by 18 percent and i got one more rank left in that which i think will bring it up to 24 percent which is very very nice more chaos strikes and they're going to be hitting harder then we're going to go up to increase the damage dealt by um, i beam by six percent and then that combined with anguish of the deceiver I'm, I'm, my i beam is going to be hitting like a fucking truck it already does hit like a truck so it's going to be hitting even more because remember it's 200 over 200,000 right now add the six percent onto that and then add the application thing and then from there i'm probably gonna swing back around this way so i'm gonna go for the um demon rage i'm going to get the extra fury and i'm going to go to rage at illadari and then i'll come back around for these two later they're not very important right now so that is the general path i'm going for my um my artifact weapon all right guys so thank you so much for watching i hope this helped um i hope this has given you a good building block for those who are not too sure on how to start the demon hunter like which talents to take for both pve and pvp the good thing is you can just change them up whenever the hell you want and yeah so i hope this gives you a good idea of what to do if you like the video please give it a thumbs up leave a comment down below let me know what you think let me know your build choices what you prefer and yeah if you want to see more videos from me please hit the subscribe button i shall see you in the next video have a good one